Hello and welcome to Teen Mom Trash Talk. This is episode 265. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co-host, comedian Noel W. Herzog. Hi, hello. Hi, hello. We're here to talk about Young and Pregnant, season three, episode 23, and the next chapter. Is that what it's called? Uh, yes. Or the new chapter. The no, next it's chapter? the next chapter. Season one, episode one. This is exciting. They should just call it Teen Mom. Okay, but also, so here's the only thing I'm wondering. I know we're not talking about that yet. I just have a quick question. Yeah. Do you think that they're only going to show certain girls per episode? Yes. Yeah, okay. like there's there's more than they need. That's what I mean. Show. Are they going to kind of like rotate Yeah, like the 90 girls? Day does that sometimes. Yeah, mm-hmm. which I'm fine with. I'm just curious. Yeah, like we didn't see Ashley this episode. We didn't see Kate and Ty. Yeah. Yes, I think that they're looking for yeah. extra content. Yeah, okay, cool. So if you guys want more of me and Noel, go to patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. Uh, and that will all be right down below in the show notes. If you're listening to us on audio and you want to come see us, come over to YouTube and subscribe. And if you're listening to us on YouTube and watching us and you've had enough, go over <laughs> to our audio podcast on any uh, podcast app that you listen to podcasts on and subscribe over there as well. They can't have enough. Look at your makeup. It's gorgeous. Your makeup. Your gorgeous, gorgeous, honey. No, yours. No, you. No, you. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> no, you. Um, I used the Lisa Frank palette today. Just to oh, tell you. I love that. Mm-hmm. Um, that color that you have on your eyes. Do you have like a peachy on it as well? Yes. Yeah, I use that peachy as my base color a lot. Mm, okay. Yeah, I do. Cute. Um, Noel, Tracy. I cried a lot during this episode. Uh, I cried once. Okay, but I cried a lot once. Oh, I mean, listen, I cry. I wonder if it's at the same thing we cried. I'm it sure. has to be. It has to be. Yeah. All okay. right. So let's jump in the pool. Young and Pregnant Season 3, Episode 23. Yeah. Uh, Kayla. We're going to start off with Kayla. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. I felt like her for a second. Like my eyelash was flapping in the wind. Was it? How yeah. many bands do you have on? Uh, 35. Okay, good. Oh, and God. what size are they? Extra, extra, extra large? They're they're the longest bands that you they're could possibly They're spider make. or elephant? Uh, elephant. Okay, good. Uh-huh. Um, so okay. she's uh, she's like, I stay with my mom and Luke stays with Coach Moore. Right. You uh-huh. live there. You uh-huh. live with Coach Moore. She can't say that. Mom. Okay. Mm-mm. So mm-hmm. here, I don't understand anything that's happening here. Do you? No. Okay. So I'm going to tell you exactly what happened, but I don't know what okay. this means. Okay. So Jamie said that uh, Isaiah said that Chaz hit him. Right. And she called Luke to try to calm uh, Isaiah down. Right. All of a sudden, Chaz texts Jamie that she didn't hit him. Who said something to Chaz? It must have been Luke. That's the only thing I can think of. Right. Right. So then that's between them. Right. But it, and it, because it's also like, listen, we could all speculate who really knows what the hell happened. We don't know what you happened. know, and it doesn't matter. It's not our business, really. Right. Well, yeah. Kayla struggles to speak uh, from these lip injections. Tracy, this is the first time I've noticed that you've said it before, and I've noticed it now. She's on Very the struggle bad. bus. Yeah, she is riding hard. She is on the struggle bus, and it lost three wheels. Yeah, it's not good. It's broken down. Yeah, she's in a Honda Civic, and it's painted all different colors. She's going to be wheelless so soon, <laughs> right? It's spray painted different colors. <laughs> yes, it is. It's very matte, if you will. Mm-hmm. So Annabelle comes over uh, right. without her triggering baby. Yes. And <laughs> Kayla's lash is poking her just as your lash was poking you. Yes. And she's like, oh, these lashes. So mm-hmm. there's a bad voiceover right up front. OK, but this whole episode was very bad voice. They're all bad voice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Annabelle goes. Have you and Luke figured out what to do about his family? (laughs) And it's like, I'm going to say that Annabelle didn't just say that. I'm going to say that she didn't just say that. So basically, anytime we hear somebody say something, but we don't see it, they didn't say it on this. Yeah. Right. Right. But then they added, they added any conversation to look like anything you want. Yes. I don't Mm -hmm. like that. No, me neither. That's the worst. So now they're talking about Noopy and... Kayla's talking about how Luke has not done anything that she's asked him to do and anything that he's supposed to do. Yeah. Um, and Noopy said that she really misses the kids. It's so hard for her. Mm-hmm. And Luke and her talk about Luke and Kayla sit down and talk about the kids. I guess he comes to her mom's house, right? Yes. All right. Because it's not in the cigar lounge. No, it's at his mom's. It's at her mom's house. But also like real quick. 
Mm-hmm. I don't think that Noopy treats the kids differently. I don't either. But okay. I'm not there. But from no, what we same, see, no. But I think it's also because Kayla's saying that because they were talking shit about her at Isaiah's party and not right. They don't Aria's respect Isaiah. Party. Right. It's like, what do you? That's a dumb that's not, reason. That's a right. Reach. Thank you. I thought that too. Yes, I totally agree with you. Okay. So um, they're talking about how Noopy doesn't like uh, Isaiah, but I don't think that's true. No. So Kayla is like, listen, I think that not having the kids affects you more than you think. Right. I think it affects you mentally. He is so mad and mean. It's like, listen, I know that she's like kind of annoying, Kind of. She doesn't stop. But then break up. Yeah, here's the thing. He is terrified to be single, clearly. And I'm I'm guessing that she is. I don't know why she keeps this man on hold, but she does. Right. But it's like all she does is tell him how unhappy he is and this and that and this and that. Like, stop. It's so annoying. Well, I was like, she's, Kayla, she's shut pretty, up. But here's the other thing, right? Like, I understand where she's coming from. She's like, listen, I don't want to be with you unless you go to therapy. I don't want to be, be with you unless you do X, Y, Z, whatever. Right. Fine. You can say whatever you want. You could put people like ultimatums aren't right. Ultimatums are fine. You can do whatever you want. Sure. In a relationship. You can tell your husband that unless he shaves his head and grows a mustache, you'll leave him. Right. That's on you. But I think that she's doing it because she knows that Luke won't. Okay, do but it. But you know what? What? At the end of the day, then you have to leave him if he doesn't, or well, that's the you problem. Leave him until he does. So here's the thing: they make it like that they break up, right? Right. But now the only thing is, I don't know for sure. I don't know if they're together, but I know that because of these episodes, a lot of people were sliding into Luke's DMs, and she like, was getting mad, and she was getting mad, and he said, "Guys, I'm not single." So he's, he's like, saying. I'm- He's like, I'm, I'm dating newbie. <laughs> no, but I mean, he's saying he's not single. So they're still together. Right. So, but that's, this is that the problem with it. The only problem that I have with it is then break. If, if you will only date him or be engaged to him or live with him, if he goes to therapy, then that's fine. That's your rule. Yeah. But he doesn't take her seriously, but he's not going either. to therapy. So just break up, but she doesn't want to. Okay. Right. That's so, the thing. So mm-hmm. I don't know what to tell you then. Right. So he said something about like them being he's like yeah it's different my family now because we're not just dating we're engaged and she's like oh no she's like that's actually not what I was getting at right but also like he thinks that you guys are engaged because right. you, you said yes and you right. led him to believe it and guess what you went to LA wearing your ring you went to LA re- wearing your ring showing it off you're acting as if <laughs> so then he says quote it's constantly how you feel in all this shit he says he's fine. And he walks out. He's also like super shut down. I wouldn't want to be with him either, but I would leave him. No, but I wouldn't want to be with her because it's like, Kayla, shut up enough. I don't want to be with any of them. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. That's why we're all not together. That's uh-huh. why we're not a thruple anymore. Well, that's the reason. That's the actual reason. It is the actual reason. Uh-huh. I we know. used to be a thruple. I lived in that tiny little house with them. The oh, tall... did you? You lived in Illinois? I lived in Illinois. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I got a scholarship for basketball. He loved I didn't you. Want to say... <laughs> what? He love you. Yeah, he love me. Um, uh-huh. I stay with them. Uh huh. You do. You stay with them because he love you. Mm-hmm. He not gonna leave me. Uh uh-uh. uh. At he least you don't me. have to stay in the cigar lounge. That would oh, be thank rough. God. God well, I, be once, so rough. once Luke was like, because I wasn't sure if Kayla was gonna get custody of me or Luke was gonna get custody, and then okay. when I found out that Luke got custody of me, I uh-huh. didn't want to go live in the cigar lounge, so I moved back to New York City. See, you know how to break up with someone. Yeah, I was like, hey, listen, that's my deal breaker. My deal breaker right. is like when we got together as a throuple, I said, if I have to live in your old coach's basement mm-hmm. slash cigar lounge slash popcorn theater, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm moving back to New York. And it's not even like like it's not even quarter kernel popcorn. Right. Right. This is regular pop, like no flavors, no fermented cheese, Th- though. Did you see at the end of the episode? He's outside playing with that dog, that little puppy, his coach. Oh, dog. yeah. It, like, What's it, like a collie? Right? Right? Yeah, it's like a collie mountain dog. Oh, it's so cute. Well, yeah, Noel Tracy. Now that my family uh, is just all over the place, mm-hmm. you know, we used to be a thruple with two kids. Well, that's true. And it was hard. Uh, and we did have a packed schedule. And if you have a packed schedule this fall, HelloFresh has meals covered with a weekly selection of 30 plus recipes and 70 plus convenience items all delivered to your door. Now more than ever, we're all looking for ways to save money. 
In fact, mm-hmm. HelloFresh is 25% less expensive than takeout and is even cheaper than grocery shopping, too. That's true. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. You know, today when I was riding my bike around, I saw HelloFresh on so many doors. Yeah, because it's so easy. And now that the kids are back in school, it's even Mm -hmm. easier. Yes. HelloFresh isn't just for dinners. You can shop HelloFresh Market for quick breakfast, wholesome snacks, and even desserts. You'll find everything you need to satisfy your cravings without stepping foot in the grocery store or mini mart. We Ooh. love using HelloFresh. I love using HelloFresh. It's my favorite thing. I cannot wait for some fall recipes. Oh, me too. Mm-hmm. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Trash Talk 16 and use code Trash Talk 16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. Amazing. So that's HelloFresh.com slash Trash Talk 16. And you know where that's going to be. It's going to be right down there in the show notes. Right there, honey. <laughs> Let's talk about Madison. <sighs> Oh, God. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so now uh, she's in Arkansas. She's in Ar- Thank you for that, though, because but I keep saying obsessively Arkansas, and I keep singing Scotty Doesn't Know. For days, I can't yeah, stop singing I, it. I apologize about that. Thank you. That's your fault. It is. Mm-hmm. Um, so she's singing at Autumn's house. Autumn looks like someone that would let Janelle and Kiefer crash by her house. Yes. Janelle and Kiefer probably used to stay there. Yes. They used to stay by Autumn's house. Okay. She has Just- mileage on her. She has um, just that Southern twang. She does. She's a gem. Mm-hmm. So she talks to um, she talks to what's his name? Christian. Christian. Mm-hmm. He saying. wants to stay. Yeah. And she asked him if he's going to pay her bills. Right. And she's like, there's unpaid bills. There's rent. Uh, I need. Formula. And he's like, no, I'm going to take custody. So she's like. I would have worked, but you don't take care of uh, Kamel bullshit. You, she, he doesn't take care of her well. What okay. does that mean? Meaning that, you know, there's a, I've seen this on a lot of these shows. These moms are like, well, I can't trust you with her. And it's like, cause you're a control freak. You just won't yeah. let, you know, well, it's like, I think he could figure out how not to kill her. He wasn't, he wasn't invited to her birthday party. Right. Um, and then he also didn't ask to come. Right. So it was Camille's second birthday party. Right. She did not invite Christian. Mm-hmm. He hasn't seen her since they've been in Arkansas. Right. And they're at Otella's house. That's Autumn's mom. Yes. Mom's house. Yes. And she's like, yeah, she's like, she, he was going to call her, but then my phone died and we were super busy. So you just didn't have a phone all day. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I believe. And you. then she passed out. And mm-hmm. then my phone, you know what happened? I was in the backyard trying to get a signal to talk right. to Christian. Mm-hmm a hawk came down. Right. And the hawk uh, had a friend. Okay. And the friend of the hawk, it was a bear. It stole uh-huh. my phone. It mistook your phone for a chihuahua. You know, those uh, yes, animals the hawks, love to No, the bear the took dogs. the phone. Oh, interesting. Yeah, you would think that it was the hawk that just swooped yeah. down. No, yeah. it was the hawk uh, that came. He came down mm-hmm. uh, and then there was a bear, mm-hmm. an Arkansas bear. Mm-hmm. And he came over and he put me in a a uh, chokehold bear hold uh-huh. a bear he hug, me. if you will he bear pawed me <laughs> what's that thing called the bear claw at the at panera oh there's also a bear claw a it's like it's a pastry yeah uh-huh yeah um <laughs> i know that's... all about bear claws of course <laughs> <laughs> so she said that he didn't want to see her so she didn't invite him okay mm-hmm. I so just now have... she's she's mad that he missed her birthday Right. But that's the thing. She didn't invite him. So now she meets up a Christian in person. I hate everything about this. He's going to stay. And he said, he's like, I can take her for a little bit. I'm getting a car and a job. I'm going on the road. And she goes, how can you take her if you're going on the road? Right. I could take her until I start to job right and before i go on the road what do you think what do you think of this then she says Mm -hmm. he said something about how she can't hold a job and he she said baby i worked longer than you he's like you worked for two months at a pizzeria right and she's like well i did doubles every day (laughs) what he hates her 
Yeah, I know. I would hate her too, though. She's leaving crying. I hate them both. Well, that's the thing. I don't like them both. He was such a dick in this situation. That yeah, but he, so is she. Like, what are you doing? No, she's nasty too. But also, she doesn't know how to speak to anybody. No. She could just be like, Christian, I really need your help. I don't have any money at all. Can you come to Ohio with me? Let me just get on my feet and then you can move back to Arkansas. Let me work. You stay home with Camille. Let me save some money. Let me just pay these bills because I don't have anybody to watch her and I cannot work. Like she can't communicate. I need help to him. Instead of saying like, my honey, my daughter won't go without blah, blah, blah. Your daughter absolutely will go out. She said that her father pays for her daughter. Right. So it's like, wait, what? Not from you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I I hate hate this. I hate them. I hate this. I think that they're both babies. Yes. Um, I think that she thinks that she's like holier than thou. Yes. And he's a moron. Well, that's the thing. She's a moron. He's a moron. They yeah, don't they're, even they're like each other. Mor- oh. And they can't communicate. That's the you, problem. You made him move to Ohio. You didn't like him. That is the that's her first mistake. Also, here's the thing. You're so happy in Arkansas. So they'd be like, Autumn, do you think I could stay here with you? With Camille, yeah, you know what I I'm mean, saying? And and this way, at least you have a little help and then you can work. Be like, and I'll move out. Just let me save some money or whatever. Do you want to move, get a place together? You have a kid. I have a kid. You know, does she have a kid. Autumn has yeah. a kid. Yeah. yeah so it's like it their out. kids were playing together. So it's like, I can't you see can... more than one kid at a time on the screen. Oh, they're not great. These kids anyway. <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> Speaking of not great. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about Kaya. No, I'm okay. kidding. Okay. Um, so Xavion gets out tomorrow, right? So fast. Suddenly it's like, whoa, Carla was just crying about a house. <laughs> she was just in the attic. She was just in the attic. Here's the attic. Out her string. <laughs> She's like, hold attic, on. Flowers she, in the she, attic. She took off her panties. She's uh-huh. like, hold on, Xavion. <laughs> just pull the string. <laughs> Climb back into mama. <laughs> Great. <laughs> She's like, I got some flowers in the attic for you. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, <laughs> she's like, how do you feel about living in a ham room? He's like, after where I've been, not so bad. He's like, I was living in a bologna room before. Right. I was living in a sausage hall before. <laughs> <laughs> so Tiaza is so happy for Amor that Xavion's getting I out. I love that. She really is so sweet uh-huh she's very sweet so i love their kitchen it's all white it's beautiful i love their house their house is spotless like i feel yeah. like tiffany scrubs a magic eraser but they don't the have stuff house. well okay they don't have stuff but it's also just like they're so clean they just know i know but i'm saying like their stuff is like away yeah what is that like what is it like know. to have enough room for everything you want i don't know i'll never know i don't know I and they have a child pillows on the couch in back of me <laughs> right so, and they have a kid and there's no toys like you know how like a lot of people i'm not throwing stones rachel they're yes like rachel right mm-hmm. their living room is basically a playpen right yeah i understand how that can happen but like they would, this doesn't happen know there's a kid there he probably plays with a toy finishes playing with it and puts it away yes I don't I was like, it. I'm done now, mom. He is Could the I, cutest, um, sweetest I kid ever. I can't take it. No, it's so, he's he is so beautiful. Cute. He's the boy version of Holly. He mm-hmm. is beautiful. You saw it before me, too. I told you. I was I'm like, like this oh, this kid, kid is bad. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, you were no. very right. Because this kid is the cutest one out of he's all of them. so uh-huh. cute. So uh, I like how Kyle's like, yeah, Zay, Zay is back in town. Okay. Did he come? He was on vacation. Yeah, he just flew in and boy, are his arms tired. <laughs> boy, is his butthole tired. It must be. He lived in a sausage hall. Of course it is. <laughs> He's like, now I got to climb in my mom's <laughs> attic. Oh, it's God. She, he's like, it's, it's roomy, but it is definitely roomy. <laughs> but all I can hear is her yelling. Um, <laughs> so Amor is painting a picture for him. Oh. And he comes in and Amora goes to him. I got to tell you, I was so worried about the scene. I was like, this kid is going to run the other way. Xavion's going to feel so bad. Right. Like any other kid would run screaming. Yeah. Kids are so skittish. <laughs> Kids are the worst. They are. They're so skittish. And it's like, even like, I'll see like a kid that I see all the time, not the kids upstairs because they're the best kids that ever existed. But like, if I'll see like one of my neighbors has a kid and I see this kid all the time and I'm like, hello. And he like runs away. And it's like, yeah, you know, I'm not a stranger danger. Right. I see you every day. Jerk. 
Yeah. Yeah. And he, it's weird because he's actually, what is he, 23 now? Yeah, right. Uh huh. <laughs> so <laughs> Zay comes out with a Bob's Burgers shirt on. Mm-hmm. TAs is upstairs. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's trying to give Xavion his space and let him have like his moment with his son. I get that. Super. But Xavion's like, hey, where's TAs? I want to meet her. Right. But no, why doesn't like Kaya just send there, her no, a quick no. text? Okay. So here's the thing yeah. there's something we're missing here. There has to be 100%. This is edited weird. Right. I like, bet you if you tweet at Tiaza, there's a different story. There has to be because I'm like, she is angry. But also why but she's not. No, I mean, she kind of is. I think she but just feels out not. of place. Sure. But then, OK, so she doesn't want to yeah. come down. Right. So uh, Tiffany goes upstairs and she's like, yeah, I don't know. I told her to come down. She won't come yeah. down. So Kaya's like, let me go talk to her. Yeah. So Kaya's like, why don't you come down and meet Zay? Right. And she's like, um, mm, what? No. And, and she's, she's like, also why don't you like, come down and meet right. Zay? And she's like, why would I come downstairs? She's like, because Xavion's downstairs. And she's like, well, you didn't say that. And it's like every person in this house just said that. You you could hear him with your ears. And she's like, I thought he left. And it's you like, wait, hear what? Him yeah. With your ears. But also then Tiffany's like, oh, Taze is just like in her mm-hmm. own bubble. That's just how she is. Right. It's and like, then okay. she went and she was like, I'm in my bubble. So what is the real story? Because all of a sudden she's like, oh, I didn't know he was downstairs. Of course I'll go. Yeah, downstairs. it was so weird, but I couldn't figure out if it was sarcasm or what. I yeah. don't think so. So she said that she doesn't want to talk to him for the first time unless they can get to know each other. Yeah, I don't know. I felt like she didn't want to go down there. I think she felt awkward about it. I think, I think she, she felt, felt very at awkward a, at a place. Which but she here's the thing. Yeah. Then you should have gone out. Yeah, of course. Why are you in the house? You're, why are you, you should have gone to Carla's attic? Or I would have gone upstairs. I'd be like, you don't fucking tell them I'm here. Yeah, I would have been like, I am. A I am at Seven Eleven. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you tell them I am anywhere but here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You pretend that I'm running from the law, and you should. But that's what up. I mean. Yeah, it's that is very weird. But like Xavion, the gold fronts, honey. Okay. Stop it. He he, I, he cannot speak. When him and Tia's a spoke. Did he make those? Yes. Out of what? Like cheddar cheese? Winter fresh wrapper. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know what him and Tia's were saying to each other. I'm like, I don't know what's happening here because I don't know what he's saying. She's just talking and I don't know what's and happening. And he's saying mumbles. Yes. Okay. I'm going to tell a story. Also, it's very Southern. Yes. But mm-hmm. okay. So I, um, there's a, a comic who's fairly, uh, I don't want to say, well, famous, I guess, right? Sure. And he had gotten a grill. Okay. I forgot if it was the top or the bottom. It was one or the other. And I saw him and I, being sarcastic, was like, that is so cool. And I was with another friend of mine who is way more sarcastic than me. Uh-huh. You know exactly I already who know I'm who that about. is. Uh-huh. And she's like, Wow. That is so cool. Can you tell me all about it? And he's like, oh, you want to know all about it? He tells us a 40 minute story about how they made them and how he went to a celebrity dentist to get them made. And he went on and on and on. And then my friend goes, I just thought it was tinfoil. But like, what year is this? But he also couldn't speak. Well, that's the thing. You can't speak. What year? and they were custom and they were custom and he couldn't speak. Soldier boy just had his taken off. He got his teeth like restored the uh-huh. way his teeth, teeth looked underneath them. Yeah, the, it rots your teeth. It makes your breath smell v bad. So bad. So, so bad. Bleh. You know, so I won't bad. date you. Sorry, I'm not going to date you. It's not it's not who I am. I would never date someone with gold <clears throat> fronts. It's so what is that? Two thousand or backs. Gold fronts, gold backs, gold, gold middles. I don't want a gold side either. I don't want a gold middle. <laughs> but I love, so Tia's a good downstairs. They hug. Mm-hmm. They chat a little bit. Mm-hmm. She said that uh, she's there to help. Mm-hmm. He said that he loves it. He said he's not, not your kid. Right. And that's what I love. I like, this, oh. this whole, ep- this whole part is what made me tear up when he ha- was holding Amor mm. and Amor is like, daddy, <gasps> my heart. It was just so sweet. He's so much nicer than his mom. He's so nice. Listen, we don't know him. We saw five minutes of him on like the best day of his life. Yeah. 
I mean, yeah, listen, I don't know. Kaya sometimes will post like a TikTok with them. Today I posted. So they're on good terms. Yeah, I posted in their in in our stories. He did like a little Q and A. Yeah, and someone was like, you know, how's co-parenting? And he's very nice. He doesn't have anything bad to say. I don't really understand everything he says. But he doesn't have anything really bad to say. He's pretty nice. Not that we could tell. Right. Noel. Yeah, I love him. Yeah, me too. I love them. Can they, they be a throuple? But that's what I mean. Like, uh, it seems like they're all going to get along pretty well. I think so, mm-hmm. too, because I definitely. So so I remember when this first started, I definitely thought that him and Kaya had a thing going still. Me, too. I don't think that anymore. There's zero attraction there. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. They are friends. Yeah, you could tell the vibes are all friends. Yes. Mm-hmm. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I. My I last know. note was Xavion is nice. <laughs> He's so nice. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of nice and uh, speaking of not, mm-hmm. uh, let's talk about Rachel. Okay. So Noah's been okay. working a lot and she's going to be planning a trip for her birthday without Noah to St. Augustine Beach because she goes there every year for her birthday and Noah will pay for her flight. But didn't she just have her birthday in L.A.? What the hell? Always. This is she just wants to get drunk and fuck. Yeah, but I don't understand. She's turning 20 again. <laughs> this is yesterday. She got back from L.A. like yesterday. Yeah, yeah she wants to so go again. Weird. So she's. Now, she mm-hmm. invites her mom to babysit. I don't know if you remember, but mm-hmm. she was trying to distance herself from her mother. She was going to cut her off. She didn't yeah. want her in her life anymore, except if she's going to babysit. Yeah. Uh-huh. Her mom's toxic, terrible. Uh-huh. So in the same sentence that she says she invited her mom to babysit, she said that she keeps her at a distance. Right. A distance. Uh, the next distance to you what? On the plane. From- <laughs> The distance, what, from uh, wing to Tennessee, Tennessee to St. Augustine. Right. (laughs) Okay, so she wants Mallory and Emerson to come uh, and she wants everyone to drive there. Right. Right. Did you see Rachel trying to clean Hazley's room? She looked like a giant. She looked like she ate the left side. No, I didn't even notice. She was wearing like those giant jumbo boots. I saw her dress like the tiny, tiniest toddler bed in the world. Oh, no, I didn't notice. One side makes you smaller mm-hmm. and one side makes you taller. Mm-hmm. She had on uh, like a Karopi dress. She did. Uh-huh. Um, San Rio. Emerson is Mallory's clone. I know. She's so cute. She's she really is such a but cute But it looks kid. like, listen, I know her dad's dead, but like it looks like she didn't even have a dad involved. No, she only had Mallory. Uh-huh. Yeah. So Mallory, so they're going to rent a car and drive. That's kind of like the plan now. Right. And Stephanie thinks that Noah and Rachel are great. They're in love because Stephanie's like, don't come back here. Uh-huh. Like, I don't come back stay here. together forever. Don't You guys are uh-huh. in love. So Mallory's like, listen, she's got no Jeezy, no license, no job. Like, she is a who's a her. Right. She worked at Wendy's one time for two weeks. Yeah. Mallory's Nothing scared wrong for with her. working at Wendy's. The point is you she can't do the job. Right. So her mother said... If Noah and Rachel break up ever, what's going to happen? If they break up ever? Yeah. What do you think? They're going to get married? When they break up soon. Right. When they break up tomorrow. Yes. Mm-hmm. So they're, she, they go over to her house to plan the Florida trip. And Mallory's like, I don't know, man. I never drove more than four hours. Now you want me to drive eight hours with 12 people in the car. But she has to drive because no one else has a license. Right. Because the, And then she's like, well, Rachel doesn't have a license. But so... Rachel doesn't have a license. Right. Stephanie has, I'm sure, a revoked or suspended license. Well, but Stephanie said something about how she would drive. Yeah, with a suspended yeah. license. Oh, I don't She's know. Like, she didn't... And Rachel goes, she goes, Mom, you don't even have a license. And that's what sets Rachel uh-huh. up. Uh-huh. That and was Rachel it. Goes, she went that's rageful. no one's business. Gosh, she's mad that Mallory's thing to her. Right. So she's like, listen, I don't give a fuck. No one will pay for my flight. You can come pick me up at the airport. She's screaming, get the fuck out of her house. Yeah. Y'all are so toxic. Mm-hmm. And then Rachel calls her a bum ass bitch. I she's love like, maybe I mean- I'm a, and then she's like, maybe I'm a bum, but my my man isn't. My man makes 4K a week and I'm getting my GED. So even if I'm a bum, Noah isn't. And then she's like, my man, my man, my man. And then she tells Stephanie to find inner peace. Right, but that's the and then telling Mallory like you get drunk every night and you don't even have your daughter. Mom's had her. She's like, I have my kid every day, all day long. It's like, yeah, you don't have a job, right? 
she doesn't realize like, listen, you could be saying right things, but you're not credible because people say one word to you and you flip out and you just talk Look over what anybody. Happened. Yeah. That, that went left so easily. But everything with Rachel goes left so easily. I know. Someone in the group was like, what does it mean to go left? And it's like, well, it didn't go right. Right. That's all. <laughs> it just went in a different direction suddenly. Yeah. Wrong. It went wrong. It went wrong. All right. Let's talk about Brianna. We didn't really uh, see very much of her. I saw too much of her because. Oh, OK. OK. Yeah. She, she went for a staycation in a hotel. Mm hmm. Um, yeah. So I found a lot of stuff out this week, two uh -huh. weeks ago. Uh, uh -huh. I spent some time with your husband. Uh huh. Um, who he gave me a little bit of information about a little backstory about his life, really about his staycations, about his, um, his beautiful memories with his family, mm -hmm. his grandparents every weekend in the summer or just every weekend in life, uh, in the summer, every weekend in the summer mm -hmm. stayed at the Marriott just minutes from their house. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was in Jersey. Um, and Matt would go visit them in the Marriott. Yeah. And that's like, I, there are so many family videos from there I've seen. I will never <laughs> stop laughing about it. They stayed at the Marriott and they would bring them like, that was their, that was their summer home. Yes. That was their summer home. Yes. Yeah. That was their summer and home where their, after, grand, like, where their grand grandchildren would visit. But even after grandpa died, they would still went. It's so weird. I I'm know. like, oh my God, Brianna, that's what you're doing. Yeah. So um, they want brace. And so there's no storyline. The storyline is that he's getting older and he needs to learn how to use his arm. So right. they want him to ride the big bike, but he needs a prosthetic to re ride the big bike. And he also needs, he's going to be going to school. So he needs to learn right. to wipe his butt. Right. He needs to learn how to dress himself. Um, but he does have normal development as far as like, you know, everything else that he's doing. Right. Uh, I got really upset when they said that one kid is scared of him. Oh, I hated that so much. Okay, but what are you doing about this? Why Nothing. aren't we sitting these kids down? Nothing. She's not doing anything. They're like, yeah, they said that he talked to the parents. Why aren't you reaching out to the parents? Obviously, the parents aren't thrilled that their kid is scared of the Of, of course. Bracer. So why can't you guys spend more Come time together? together? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and be like, here, touch his arm. Everything's fine. Brianna doesn't care all that much. She doesn't care all that much. Mm -hmm. She's not so, a problem solver. No, she's definitely not. And then she's like, yeah, it's time to start physical therapy. It's like, really? What do you have a shoulder surgery? Okay, so that's what I was wondering. What do you have too? a groin injury when he was playing hockey? Right. <laughs> but that's what I was wondering too. Like physical therapy? What would he throw his knee out in the pool? Mm hmm. What do he throw his knee out cycling like me? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. She means occupational therapy. Oh, got you. I didn't know what the hell. She yeah. Meant. And then she corrected it to afterwards. She was like something about occupational therapy, occupational therapy. Um, it, it uses, it's like your motor skills and like right. all that kind of stuff. It's different than physical therapy. Physical therapy is for an injury. Usually. Right. I've been to physical therapy. You've been to physical therapy. <sighs> we it's all been to physical therapy. therapy. Yes. Real question. Yeah. I just wasn't sure about this. And I, I try to Google the answer to this question, but I, I could not find it. Does she wash her hair with cheese whiz? Because <laughs> it's orange and it's oily. She does not use purple shampoo. I can tell you that. She doesn't use shampoo. She doesn't use shampoo. I think she washes with coconut oil. You know, it's like 101 things to do with coconut oil. <laughs> you know, it's like people okay, like one of them is not wash with it. it. No, and she thinks it's wash your hair with it. Oh my god! I just had oh, a what fruit just fly. happened? A fruit fly just I had a fruit fly in here before too. Yeah, it's the season. It flew through my screen into you. I had a fruit fly in my car yesterday. I was on the highway, uh -huh. trying to get him. I was oh. like, I'm gonna crash. I think we should just coexist real quick. Yeah, where the hell the rest that of the ride from? I don't know. Weird. Maybe, maybe this is him. Uh <laughs> I don't know. Um, next week is the finale of Young and Pregnant. Okay. Well, yeah. Brianna is not looking great, but guess who is? Who? Me and you. Yeah, we are looking pretty good. Because we've been using Thrive Cosmetics. Thrive Cosmetics is amazing. High performance beauty and skincare products made with clean skin loving ingredients. No parabens, no sulfates, no phthalates. Certified 100% vegan and cruelty free. Cause is in the name for a reason, Noelle. Mm -hmm. Every purchase supports organizations that help communities thrive. I am wearing right now, no joke, the Thrive Cosmetics 
lash extension mascara. So am I, but I feel like you can't really see it. My lighting's very strange. You're like, I have it on. Uh huh. I'm just saying, I don't even have long eyelashes and Um, they look amazing. So when I'm done podcasting and I go wash my face and take a shower. Okay. That's why I don't mind putting on mascara for the podcast. Me too. Okay. So this is liquid lash extensions mascara. It is the best selling product. It has more than 20,000 five star reviews. It's ultra lengthening eye opening mascara. It lasts all day without clumping, smudging or flaking. It mimics the look of lash extensions without the damage, glue, or expensive salon prices. It's clean, nourishing ingredients support longer, stronger, and healthier looking lashes over time. But our favorite part, the easy, easy removal. Tubing formula slides right off with warm water and a washcloth. No soap required. Also, it doesn't run or smudge. No, it doesn't at all. It literally just comes out. It's not like that oily, weird yes. consistency. And it yeah. doesn't give you a headache either. Mm-hmm. I love it. Um, I've been using their Brilliant Eye Brightener all summer. I use their Sunproof 3-in-1 Invisible Priming Sunscreen. Uh, I love the Zafian Gravity Eye Lifting Cream. I use so many of their products. I love how every single one of them smell. Me I too. love how they feel. I really, really like it. And uh, also the mission that they're on is amazing. This is bigger than beauty for every product purchase. Thrive Cosmetics donates to help communities thrive. They have over 300 giving partners across the country supporting numerous causes. Amazing. Now is a great time to try Thrive Cosmetics for yourself. Right now you can get 15% off your first order. Mm-hmm. When you visit thrivecosmetics.com slash teen mom, that's thrive cosmetics, C A U S E M E T I C S dot com slash teen mom for 15% off your first order. And guess what? What? Down there in the show notes. Right here. Right there. there. Mm-hmm. Over there. Go over there. Uh, and now we're on to Teen Mom, the new chapter, season one, episode one. Episode one. Mm-hmm. Noel. Yeah. The format. Okay. What do you think of this? This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my whole life. I'm watching this and I'm like, could this be lamer? Okay. It could not. Okay. Thank Stop you. trying to make fetch happen. Why do they do this? Why? I don't want to say anything, but I it's gave them so, a lot of insight. It's so lame. It's like, and then when something happens, you see like, like Cheyenne, like, oh, you throw sick parties, this, that. And it's like, I have to see your comments. This is not real. really. I, uh, had a discussion with MTV a couple of weeks ago. Mm-hmm. They asked for some of my opinions. Uh huh. They took none of them. That's it all is terrible. That. Yeah. That's all I have to say about that. All right. So they have a fake Zoom call with all the girls. So it's Macy, right. Amber, Brianna, Cheyenne, Jade, Kate, Leah, and Ashley. I could never concentrate with that many people on a Zoom. Okay. <laughs> Kate said that, well, it's not real. Right. So Kate said that they're the only people that have been on a show like this, showing their parenting. Didn't Madison say something like that recently? Mar- Madison said that only a few people even know what it's like to be a mom. Uh-huh. Yeah. But, it, you know, she meant the same thing. <laughs> Amber has an Android. And uh, does it make you not want to have an it? No. No. Do no. you think that I care about a group chat that much? Did I care what color your text? No, are? you don't care about anything. Like, no. you just don't care. Uh-uh. No, I don't. Okay. Here's Madison's quote from last week. Ready? Yeah. Uh-huh. There's only a few amount of people. There's only a few amount. There's only a few amount of people in the world that know what it's like to become a mother. Right. And then she, am- but then she says like on amount. TV. I know, but there's only a few amounts of people. Yeah. There's only a few amount. A few amounts of people. Mm-hmm. A few amount. Huh? Oh, my God. All right. So let's start off with Amber. I have a lot of opinions. You um, I mean, I have some opinions. <sighs> you mean on the whole show in general? I have no, I have a opinions. lot of opinions on it. Amber. Oh, OK. Uh-huh. So Leah's turning 13 and they That's have a crazy. fake group chat. Yeah. Yeah. So they, now we go to Gary's house. Yeah, and I love Gary. Gary. Gary wants to invite Amber. Um, mm-hmm. And then we have a recap of Amber. And right. Amber's like, I even serve time. And it's like, Amber, they were like, hey, Amber, do you want to clean the bathroom or do you want to go to jail? She's like, I'm going right. to go to jail. They're like, OK, we're going to try this again. Do you want to um, spend an afternoon in a mm-hmm. writing workshop? Mm-hmm. She's like, I want to go to jail. But also, this was so many years ago. Like, get over it already. I know, Leah was what, three? <laughs> yeah, that's really all Leah thinks about. Right. So Gary invites Amber. Leah doesn't want her there. She's like, fine. She doesn't want her there, but she also doesn't know how to say it. Right. OK, yeah. so also the sound is awful. Really? I don't I know like what I was didn't going on with this. That. Yeah, okay. I did. So um, Amber's nervous on the way to the party. 
at mozzarella bar. Okay. That I wrote that. I'm like, they're at a mozzarella bar. Can we go to a mozzarella bar? I would love to go to a mozzarella bar. I want to go there with you. Only I with you. I want to go there with you. Do you think that Amber was nervous because she was like an hour late? I okay. don't think so. That was my problem, but okay. Oh, I have lots of problems. Mm-hmm. Well, that's my number one problem because Amber can't be on time to anything ever, ever. Mm-hmm. So Amber also loves a chunky sweater dress. <laughs> she does love a chunky sweater dress. I did like her jacket. It was very cute. Her sure. furry denim. Cute. Whatever. So she barely greets Leah. She's like, hey, how are you? Like, hey, yeah, uh huh. Sorry, I'm late. Uh huh. Leah's like, You're I, late. I saved you a whole loaf of bread. They're eating already. No, no, that's how late eat, you no, are. No, no, they've eaten, and that's how late they she saved is. her some months ago. She's late to everything. It is everything. Fucking pathetic. barely greets her. She's not like, oh my god. So well, I think she's trying to what do less. I think how she's could you trying do, to. How could she you doesn't do want to make Leah uncomfortable, how could and you I get do less? that. Leah and Emily have matching leopard. Oh, shirts. my God. I love it. How cute. So cute. Yeah. Um. OK, so Amber's like, oh, what can I get? She gets to the tree of life. Would she get her a brooch? Tracy, a tree From me of- and Bobby. Did she get it at Barnes and Noble. You know the what tree I mean? Of, oh, Leah's like, I've life. always dreamed of a 13 year yeah. old birthday gift. The oh, tree I of life. I love this. The tree then of life. She's like, there's also a candle. It's sage. Read it. Read it. I'm gonna fucking She's read like, it. Great. It's a fucking candle. Yeah. Thanks, mom. Give me a brooch. Thanks <laughs> for the brooch and the shit smelling candle. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, yeah. I don't want sage. a sage candle. Of all can- get her a Neroli candle. Yuck. <laughs> sage. So that and then she leaves early. So you came late and you left early. Well, you she has no because she has Bubby Boo Boo tomorrow. She and has to Bubby Boo 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 picked out her gift chunk. too. Yeah, no, he did. Uh-huh. He picked it out chunk from tomorrow. yeah. I have time to laugh. So you came late and then you left early. Even Olive Mouth was there on time. <laughs> oh, how about her? There's a true <laughs> life. I got you at least a oh, cash. You have a third curl? I got you those <laughs> cocktail onions. <laughs> Yuck. Noel. Yeah. Amber fucking sucks, They man. didn't even show the gift because they were like, this is definitely It's pathetic. Approach. It's very like, bad. Let people think it's like it. Also, a tree, even if it was a necklace. Tracy. You know what I'm going to do? Get me a tree of life necklace. Go ahead. I dare you because it's going on Poshmark. A tree for of one, life? For, for less than $1. But that's the thing. It, here's the thing. Where did she get that? Did she go to K Jeweler? No. She went to like a Barnes and friggin' Noble and yeah, like got a that. Gift shop. Yeah, like a gift shop. She probably with went, like she got one of those things. It's like what to get mom for Mother's Day. No, she probably like, got it from Amazon, right? But it's like it's like one of those things. It's like jewelry yes. that comes on a card. Yes, with like a saying on. Yes, it. come on, one hundred percent. Right. Yeah, but you like she claims so I'm a millionaire. Everybody wants me for my money, but you get yeah. your daughter. A you live in a well birdhouse <laughs> or brooch. Uh huh. <laughs> so she's like so. <laughs> Leah said that she wants to be friends with him. She's like, yeah. So she's talking to Gary and she's like, yeah, I guess like, you know, it's he's like, how'd you feel about your mom? She's like, yeah, whatever. I don't care. And this is such a dangerous area that we're in right now. Right. So um, she said that she doesn't know what to say to her. She's like, I don't know what to say to her. What, like, what do you talk about with her? Um, Amber she, thinks that this is a big step. And she says, quote, we are trying. Well, Amber thinks, honestly, and this is sad. She thinks it's a big step that Leah hugged her. That's so yes. sad. And she cries that Leah is so strong and she's blessed to have such amazing kids. Okay. So here's the thing. Uh-huh. Leah mm-hmm. is strong because she survived abuse from you. She goes, she's becoming so strong. It's so intense to see. Okay. Also, okay. something that she doesn't understand is yeah. that um, we're in a we're in a dangerous place right now. Yeah, of course. You know this dangerous place. The dangerous place is that Amber uh is not uh Leah, Leah is not accepting Amber at all. Leah has accepted that Amber is not her mom. That's how she made peace with it. Mm-hmm. She's accepting that Amber is um, an aunt. Amber is her not even fun aunt. Older cousin. I can't even say she's her fun aunt. No, she's not her fun aunt. I would say she's, she's her somebody, nasty elderly aunt. She's someone that comes to all the family functions that she doesn't really have to talk to. It's like, why does this person have to come? It's like, I guess we invite them because they're Whatever, family. Whatever, who cares? Yeah, but that's it. Right, but Amber thinks this is a step. Mm-hmm. Leah treated her like a neighbor. Right. 
But you know what? If that Amber doesn't want to be treated like a mom anyway. Mm -mm. So that's why I think it's perfect for her because if Leah started coming to her, like and wanted nurturing from Mm -hmm. her, Amber can't give it to her anyway. She's just setting herself up for disappointment. So it's like, I think Leah took a good approach. I think she's such a great approach with her tree of life. (laughs) A tree of life. Tracy, when she said that, and then she's like, read the candle. I'd be like, blow me. Read the candle. candle. Read the candle. Where did you get these you candles the that they have saved? That's what I'm saying. Go to Bath and Body Works. Go. You know what I mean? Like, what candle are you getting? Go to Target. It's not good. No, it's stupid. Okay. The worst segment of the show is coming up now. Basic. The worst. Stop. Also, I just would like to say this. As much as like, okay, fine. Kate and Tyler, Ashley, and then Aaliyah. We don't need them. You don't have to add them Mm-mm. to this. Mm-mm. They're not going to add anything anything to the show. I no, saw they enough. Are. No, no, I saw enough. Macy has a hectic life. Sometimes they have three different soccer games. Wow. <laughs> so Bentley was four years old when her and Taylor started dating, mm-hmm. and Macy and him went to a marriage council. They almost fake broke up. Yeah, I know. She's like, um, t- like Taylor did something that really upset me. It's like nobody ever said what he did though. No, he did nothing because he did nothing. Uh huh. He called her friend to ask her to pick Bentley up that day. Uh- Oh, that's what it was. I wish that my life had such little problems that's that I could saying. care about something like that. Get a life, Macy, please. All right. So it's date night and Bentley is going to be babysitting and she put cameras in the house and it's called Operation Stay Alive. This is an operation that uh, Christian should probably start. The Somebody should report her for child abuse <laughs> with these haircuts that these children have. I know it's <laughs> no, it that's the style. I know it is, but like. That's a problem. I can't no, look at my child that's, having that's a, this. I know. That's the thing right Listen, now. Listen, I know it's not her fault. And I know that I saw in the coming attractions, Bentley has regular hair soon. Right. And it makes, I see him and I'm like, there you are. No, I think it's cute though. No, I don't like it. So they, <laughs> it was a little funny. So they leave and they go in the garage and they're like, let's have ice cream for dinner. I that's am cute. telling you, these kids legit did not know that they were being watched. No, they did it. That was, that's real. why it was so uh-huh. funny. So they get takeout and they go in the garage and Jade tells Bentley to shut your mouth. Shut up. I'm like, yes, I love it. I love it. Then they start wrestling to the death. Uh Uh-huh. Bentley's like, what the hell? Bentley's folding clothes too. And it's like, like, he's like a a real babysitter. Yeah. So then they play the conflict music. Mm -hmm. Like someone was murdered. Right. Mm -hmm. This is like restaurant stakeout. Do you remember that show? Of course I do. Where they rush it and they're like, all right, that's of it. Of course out. I know. And he would watch and he'd be like, she didn't charge. He didn't, she didn't charge him for that. Okay. Do you know I used uh-huh. to work for that guy? Uh, yes, I actually did. I don't remember what you did for him, but I remember you used to work for him. Personal assistant. Interesting. Was he a yeah. dick? Mm-hmm. Nobody knows. There's no way to know. You'll There's tell no me on camera. There's no way to know. Okay. I didn't work there very long. Mm. Okay. Let that speak for itself. Yeah. Okay. You take what you want out of that. Did I eat a lot of filet mignon? I love filet mignon. Well, I worked. He owns a steakhouse. He owns a chain of steakhouses, but not like a not like an outback. Like I was going to say, like an outback, Mm -mm, like a real steakhouse. Oh, Mm -hmm. so every day for like an old homestead. It's called Uncle Jack's Steakhouse. Oh, I've heard of this. Yes, Mm -hmm. I know about this. Delicious. Yeah. Yum. That's cool. Every day. Although I will tell you, uh, that filet mignon I got from Trader Joe's was so good. Oh, I was really good. Uh, Every time I eat a filet mignon, it's from Trader Joe's. It's so good. Oh, my God. I thought it was just me. I'm like, this is really good. Yeah. Listen, filet mignon, not the most popular cut of steak, not not the most flavorful cut of steak, but the best yield. The best yield and uh, so tender. Yeah. Yeah, Very good. Listen, it's good in a pinch. It's good in a pinch. (sighs) All right. So. They call um they call the kids out on everything that they did, which was kind of funny. Okay, but all here's what bothered me. Okay, you're watching it. And uh, you know, she's like, I'm so stressed out watching this. Oh, and Bentley, Bentley didn't have to deal with this. Bentley felt and, like he was in a gas oh. station getting shot at. But that's what I mean. It's like Macy, shut up. Okay, so what she's trying to say with this though, yeah, is she's trying to say that she she's was too young to have a kid. Yeah, that's basically yeah. all she's trying to say, which I get. But there was a very less dramatic way no, to say that. No, me too. But you didn't have to act so stressed out because Maverick and 
the other one were fighting to death. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Mad- uh, Jade, Mad- that was you funny. Know what I mean? Yeah, they were. They're so funny because they're also so close in age. They mm-hmm. they made me laugh. All right, you ready for Brianna? Uh, I'm ready for Brianna. Uh-huh. All right, her and like Shay this. have an eyelash lunch battle. They battled to the death too. Yes, they did. Mm-hmm. Um, the lawsuit's over a year old. She's a hundred thousand dollars in with lawyers, oh. and she wins the lawsuit. When she finds out at work. It's like that's a, that would be my favorite day at work ever. Right. So mm-hmm. Brianna calls Jade. Fake calls Jade, and right. Kale has to pay for her lawyers. So she's gonna rent an Airbnb for a party. Yes, that's what Brianna does. She rents Airbnbs. She loves renting Airbnbs. She's been doing this for years for everyone's birthday. You know, okay. I just want to say something when she says like, oh, we're going to Airbnb for the party, yada, yada, yada. And then she kind of like goes into like the confessional for a second. And she's basically like, I want to feel like, like I deserve good things and stuff like that. That did make me feel for her. Um, I think that everybody thinks like Brianna is like this terrible person. And I really don't think she's a terrible person. I think she doesn't think before she does. I think she's she's so hot headed and immature, but I don't think at her core after seeing the way she took care of Jade, she didn't have I, to do listen, that. I totally agree with yeah. you on that. But there I were a lot of things that like, she's a bad person. But like even like outing she, Ashley's she pregnancy, little, stop being an asshole. She could use yeah. a little, little shining up. She could use a little shining up. She could use a little, you know, little highlighter. Uh-huh. Little yes. So now she has Chick-fil-A with Brittany and she says that she's going to have a part the party. She's going to have a cake that says, bitch, better have my money. And now it's the day before the party and she goes to the Airbnb and right. Shay's there with a Brianna shirt on. Jade's right. there. And they're like, oh yeah, Jade Janelle's going to come. And Jade's like, I don't like her. Jade. And she's like, I'm not even going to play the game. I know, but here's, that is the opposite of who I am. I'd be like, hey, Janelle, Noelle. how are you? That's Noelle. not your friend. I would you know that. Her. But you know that I'm the same way. I Noelle. will yes someone for the rest of my life. I would laugh so hard. Also, like, why is your life so sad that you actually care what Janelle thinks of you? Thank you. Get a life. Thank you. Yeah. So also this outfit that Brianna has on is not for her. Not flattering. She came in hot wearing that. And I'm like, oh, girl, I thought she uh -uh. made a poop. Uh huh. It looks like that. It looks like she has bags of poop. Yes. In her hips and butt. Uh Just basically not really in her hips. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Moving on to Jade. Jade. She starts by sending a fake video to Brianna. Yeah. Her like, salon, oh, right, telling right. her she's going to do her hair. What is she going to do to her? Wash it. Yeah. Like, you know, she's like, I have some when, Dawn dishwashing liquid. If you'd like to come to my salon when they, or power wash, even when they showed that flashback of Brianna talking to Janelle, she looks so pretty. Why did she look so pretty? She looks so pretty because they did her makeup. At I that. thought the same thing. I'm like, hello, how are you suddenly a smoke show? Where did this come from? Yeah, that's what I think that was when she had on the burgundy. Yeah, yep. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, she had on the Kardashian jacket. Yes. The car jacket in. The car jacket in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so now Chow comes and she has green hair. I will tell you this. If I was yeah. a hairdresser, I wouldn't have let my friend have that hair at all. No, but I also think that's faded. Mm, I wouldn't have let that happen. Yeah. So um, she I said, like Chow. No, I do too. She said that every few days she asked Sean about his sobriety and mental health. Right. I would be like, Jade, shut up. What are you, Kayla? Leave me alone. I don't think that's he's. How... And then he's like, when I don't feel good, I'll tell you. Yeah, I'll beat you. Yeah. When I don't feel good, I'll steal your phone and break the window. But that's what I mean. When I don't feel good, I'll wail to you in the middle of the night from my computer chair. Yeah. I'll I'll just sure, yell leave me alone. At you. Jade, I'm not going. No, leave me alone. I'm sick. Leave me alone. I'm sick, Jade. Where's my dope napkin? She didn't even mention her mother one time. It shocked the hell out of me. I hope she comes. Yeah. I hope she comes. So all of a sudden, she wants to get married all the way. Right. You were engaged 12 teen times to this mm-hmm. guy. Now, Chloe starts crossing her eyes. Mm-hmm. And she's like, finally, your hair's growing. It's like, yeah, we've been waiting for like 12 years now. Yeah, we've been waiting for her whole life. She was born bald-headed Lena. <laughs> I don't know. My dad had a whole song about her. <laughs> <laughs> Did he write it? I don't know. Bald head Lena. Has anybody seen her? As cute as she could be. A cute bald head is hard as lead, but she's got to write with me. I think this is your new TikTok. You're going to sing this on TikTok. Um, okay. Jade has been looking for rings, but she wants a surprise engagement, but she wants to pick the ring. So many girls do this. Though. Okay. But you know what? What? So do you. <laughs> In Jade's defense. Yeah. We've seen Sean's work. Okay, I agree with you. 
Jade's I, like, here's the thing, you. Sean. We get engaged a lot, right? And like, you've had like 12 chances and like, you've bought me 12 different rings and I don't know which one is worse. Like I've told you to get me a solitaire 400. You have gotten me uh, a ring covered in glitter. Uh-huh. Like, what are you doing? What Bro, are you doing? Did you see the ring that she has now? What? What? Not the one that she was showing him? No, the no. Okay, I love the ring she was showing him. She got yes. a pear pear shaped diamond. Was it just a solitaire though? I don't know. I hate pear shape. It's the worst shape oh, in the I world to see, me. See, I don't mind if it's a solitaire because it's definitely, but it's definitely uh trendy. I can't. I hate. I hate pear shape. I will always think of Carrie Bradshaw getting one from Aiden and her getting, seeing the the ring from Aiden and Miranda pregnant picked it out. That is all I could think about ever with a pear shaped okay. ring. Where can I see? It had uh, been on her story. Did she not post it on her page? Let me see. Um, when did it? No, so oh, no. All- go to our Instagram. You posted it? Yes. Okay. If you swipe. You like how um, into this I am? How uh, how up on our Instagram we are? That's We're, right. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of things on Instagram because so much happens. <laughs> and who's fighting with who? I know. I really should. When was this? Okay, I'm going to tell you right now. As you would say, okay, hello. I'm okay, going to tell you this you right so now. Um, Bald headed Lena, has anybody seen her? <laughs> <laughs> you know, she, okay, it is. Uh, I, I'm looking at it right now. Oh, I see it. The proposal. Okay. Yeah, yep, I see it. Okay. But you know what? At least it's a solitaire. No, mm. I agree. I just hate a pear shape, but you're right. It is trendy now. Mm. It's trendy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's fine. It's a solitaire. Listen, it's fine. It's just, it's so weird to me because it's like, now you want to marry Sean? I didn't even think you liked okay, him. But do you think that maybe it was always the ring? Maybe it was the ring. Maybe. Maybe it was always the ring. Maybe it was the ring. Could be. So <clears throat> she's like, listen, I'm going to be at Brianna's party if you want to go shopping. Right. He's like, yeah, absolutely. I would love to do that. Thank you. But they voice over that into. He looks so good. He looks so happy. Teeth a little too white for my taste, but he looks good. <laughs> I think he went with Noah to Turkey. Yes, I oh, think so God. too. All right, moving Cheyenne. on to Cheyenne. So this uh, was upsetting. So Ryder's dressing like the queen and Cheyenne's planning her fifth birthday party, which is a tea party. And she's planning her wedding. Taylor's pregnant and Ryder is filming mm-hmm. her own footage. But also wasn't mm-hmm. Cheyenne doing making like a business for herself, like yeah, a okay. party planning business? Yeah, that worked out. Um, yeah. Noelle. Why is Ryder not like some kind of celebrity? Okay. She is gorgeous. But what is with her personality? No, I she, know. She's great. She needs to get like She's a job. Great. This kid is great. She should be like a PR agent or something. She should she be a should. star. She should be an anchor. A oh news my anchor. God. Yeah, she's great. This kid. Cheyenne's boobs are very together. They are. They live right next door to each other. They do. I, I understand. I'm a little next story. No, 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 no. <laughs> It's a very different next door. Really? It's an artificial next door. That's why. Oh, see, I didn't know that they were artificial. They are artificial. I, I have trouble picking out artificials. You know that. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. Yeah, um, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do know. But I do, though. Yeah. I have no trouble picking out artificials. I know. And that's why it's like I, anytime people say like they have like fake boobs, I'm like, really? Yeah, I know. You're like so surprised every time. Unless they're like really separated and plastic. I can't tell. Right. So now she gets shot at on the way to the doctor with all the kids in the car. Mm-hmm. There's a laser beam on Zach's face. Right. What was Dr. Evil shooting them? Well, the thing is, I guess it's like, you know, I don't know why it was green because I always thought it was red. The laser, right? Like the little dot. Yeah. OK, but, but it, if the laser was on your face, why didn't they get him? Why did you get shot in the face then? I mean, not to be a dick. I, I'm glad that they didn't get shot. But like. What happened? OK, so the sh- they got shot at the car 13 times. They crash into a Prius. They can't understand. The cops can't understand how they're still alive. The bullets didn't hit them. That's how I they're mean, still but alive. But that's pretty amazing that you got shot at 13 times and not one person got injured That laser at does all. not work, guys. If you're buying guns with this laser. Yeah, don't get a like defective. One. You should get like some kind of uh, recall. Yeah, that's crazy. So they have court tomorrow. Mm-hmm. She's nervous. And mm-hmm. then they have court that day. They're driving to court. And they were so nervous to face this guy in court. And then they didn't have to face him because the lawyer continues the case. The story what of everyone's happens. life. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing your gun story. But, but share your you gun share story. the whole thing. Yeah. Here's the thing. It's like, so you got shot at. Because I've never gotten shot at 13 times. By one of your friends. Face. So what happened? So you have pictures with them and stuff. So you're going to tell me. So nothing happened? Zach doesn't owe someone money. Tell me what happened. Or, I'm not so, saying he should get shot at. Listen, I'm I never think happened. he should get shot at. But I think that your life and your children's lives were in danger. Something more is going on here. Do you think something might have happened that they didn't tell us? You think? I think something's going on. Maybe a little illegal things. Also, wow. Zach mm -hmm. suddenly looks very different. Bad or good? Bad. Listen. He is so unbelievably attractive to me, except he's too short. Right. He is so good looking. He suddenly has this straggly ass beard, a do rag 24 seven. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, listen, he's getting shot at. But that's what I mean. I don't know. There's so much more happening here. And it's clear that every time I get shot at, I grow my beard out, too. No, every time I get shot, I wear a do rag. OK, that is true, though. Yeah. I mean, you know, I have like 12. I know. <laughs> Noel. Yeah. Why is that getting shot at? That's what I want to know. Why is that getting shot at? Gambling, money, drugs, drugs yeah, guns, something. What, mm -hmm. what does that do for work? There's no way to know he doesn't work and why does this why is it she's sitting there with his family why is it one person say like uh zach there she's breaking down sobbing in her mother's yard nobody's saying anything to zach mm -mm. it's so weird it's so weird and he's so silent mm -hmm. we'll never know though we'll never know uh-uh we'll never know we'll never know mm -mm. also she's not even in love with him anyway so i don't even know what she's doing no, to she's begin with planning yeah that's all this was a wild ride. I was on a ride with you just now. We have this ride another week. The doubles. Yeah. Okay. And then that's it. Yeah. Unless they're going to do a team. Uh, uh, I don't think they're doing reunion, a reunion, but I don't think so. So, but next week is their finale. Okay, guys, make sure you join Patreon, patreon.com slash trash talk podcast, where you find our BS episodes, where you're going to find uh, 90 Day Fiance Single Life. You're going to find, uh, we're going to do that documentary. What's it called? The, the Man Manateo. Yeah, Manateo. Also, we have all of the seasons of Unexpected covered. Every, okay, when you posted that today, I was like, you're right. We yeah. do. We've covered every season of Unexpected. Yeah. We have a podcast called Unexpected Trash Talk behind the paywall. Go to patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. Uh, also, just leave us a five star rating and an amazing review about what you love about these podcasts. And if you're not listening to all of our podcasts, you're a silly goose because we have <laughs> other podcasts that are totally free 90 Day Fiance Trash mm -hmm. Talk and Catfish Trash Talk. Guys, you asked. We delivered. And here's the thing about Catfish. You don't have to have watched the whole series. To listen no, you to just us. watch the one episode and then, yeah. watch, then listen to the episode. That's, That's it. all. Just it's do a it. one and done. Boom, bam. Thank you. And we're recapping the old episodes. Bam. Right now we're doing old episodes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just go over there. Catfish Trash Talk. Do all the stuff. Make sure you follow the podcast. Obviously, Noel's keeping very uh, good up with the gossip. Teen Mom Podcast on Twitter. Teen Mom Trash Talk on Instagram. Follow Noel at Noe Girl on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. T-R-I-X-I-E-T-U-Z-Z-I-N-I. TracyCarnazzo.com for all of my upcoming show dates. I had a very big show uh this weekend a few very big that's shows right. opening for the giggly squad podcast at town hall that's hannah burner and Paige from uh summer house on summer bravo house. so uh yeah check it out tracycarnazzo.com i have upcoming stand-up comedy dates all the stuff tracycarnazzo.com tracycarnazzo.com tracycarnazzo.vom